this here is Stinky Legend. He is a pill, aren't you? <laughs> no. Cut it out. Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we're going to show you how we turn our aloe into homemade aloe goat milk soap. But first we're going to let Legend and his ladies out. There you go girls. Go, go, go. Come on. This here is pretty little Dinky. She is going to be two years old when she freshens in the spring and it will be her second time having babies. And her udder was gorgeous as a first freshener so I can't wait to see it as her second freshen. This here is Stinky Legend. He is a pill, aren't you? So he is going to be three years old this spring and this is gonna be his third season of having babies. And he's gorgeous, aren't you? He is a brother of Lucky, and he is the last kid that Lacey actually had. So his mom is Lacey, and you're just being a stinker, and his dad is Chimp. Cut it out. Go Brown. Leave me alone. <laughs> She's not gonna leave me alone, is she? Go find something else to do. Go, 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 go. Babe. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hose. Stop it. Arf, 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 arf. Did you hear about the Blue Cactus Soap free shipping sale? It's going on right now. Until December 4th, you get free shipping on all orders over 50 bucks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Arf. Okay, so Legend is doing his best to make this very difficult. He's not letting me get the does and show them off. <laughs> But they're very happy and playing and they're being adorable. All right. Now it's probably my chance. Let me try to grab a gun. Easy. Here. Come here. Come here. Ah. All right. 
legend. <laughs> okay, this here is Mia. She is a daughter of Mayo that we kept from last year. And it's gonna be her first time having babies. And I have no doubt she's gonna be a fourth generation grand champion for me. You're a punk. No, legend. All right, now we got Daisy. Be nice. <laughs> All right, if you guys aren't new to the channel, you know darn well how I feel about Daisy. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous doe. Um, she produced a ton of milk last year with a gorgeous udder, and she is gonna be two years old when she freshens, and it'll be her second kitty. And you missed her. <laughs> he don't want me by his girl. Too much fun. Okay, and this here is Chippy. Um, she's also a very gorgeous doe, and she's gonna be two years old when she freshens in the spring, and it will be her second time kidding. She is another one that I'm super excited to see her second fresh and utter just because her first fresh and utter was absolutely gorgeous. And here we have a mother-daughter duo. This is May. She's going to be 10 years old and it's going to be her 10th freshen this spring. And she's grand champion May. She's amazing. Um, second generation of grand champion. Her mama is Obi. And this here is her daughter Maddie. There she goes. Everybody knows Maddie is Emily's goat, so I'm not gonna try to grab her, but there she goes. Anyway, Maddie is gonna be seven years old when she freshens with her seventh freshen. Mia. So this is what Legend's gonna do. He's gonna run his girls around all day and have a blast doing it, aren't you? All right guys, so this is some of the aloe that we actually harvested and processed into little aloe cubes to make our homemade aloe goat milk soap. So the first step in doing so, we need to weigh out our aloe cubes and we are gonna also add cube, frozen cubes of goat milk. In this method, um, using the lye, we're actually gonna pour the lye over the milk and aloe cubes and the reason we freeze them is because it gets really, really hot. The lye mixed with any liquid, it gets really hot. So if you have ice cubes, it just keeps that temperature way down. So if you didn't freeze them, the potential of burning both the aloe and the milk is very, very high. And I'm making a double batch here. Perfect. All right, so now that I have my aloe cubes and my milk cubes weighed out, now we are gonna start slowly um, adding the lye to these um, ice cubes until they are melted and the lye is completely dissolved. You do not wanna pour it all in at once. You're just kinda slowly getting it in there. And then be very careful at first because you can just flip lye out of there very easily. Now everybody always asks, about lye, why would you add something like lye, sodium hydroxide, to your soap if it's harmful? Well, in the saponification process, so once you add the lye to the liquid, um, the lye then gets added to your oils, and once those two are mixed together, they go through a process called saponification. Now, saponification simply means it is the process where 
um, the lye and the oils are actually turning into soap. So in the end product, after 24 to 48 hours, it is then soap. It's no longer oils, milk, um, no longer lye, it is just soap. This whole process probably takes about 15 minutes for it to be completely melted and the lye completely dissolved. All right, so now my cubes have melted and I always go just a few more minutes um, past the point of all the cubes being melted just because I want to make sure all of the lye is dissolved. Um, and I just want to show you guys something really cool too. So come on in. If you're looking, you can see all of these kind of clumpy looking things. And what that is, is actually the lye molecules and the butter fat in my goat's milk is already starting to saponify. So that's that's pretty cool. And also, holy butter fat. Okay, so I'm just checking the temperature of this and it is 65 degrees. So again with the ice, it just keeps it super, super cold. If this was just mixed with water or just the milk that was just even cold, it could have got up to 140, 160 degrees. So now I'm gonna put this to the side and get my oils. All right, so I got my lye mixture into this easy to pour container here for me. Um, and these are my oils. Now this is my secret recipe. However, I may or may not use uh, olive oil, castor oil, coconut butter, and shea butter in, in my oils. And of course, all the oils that we use are all natural um, and any ingredients that go into our soap is nothing but pure from the earth, all natural ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna pour the lye in, but I'm gonna do it over my stick blender. Less likely to get it splashing on me. Look at that buttermilk in there. Crazy. Okay, and now we are just gonna stick blend it up. Uh, soap that I need to get super thick. Um, I'd like to pour it real nicely into the molds. So I don't need it, again, I don't need it too thick, but I'm going to give it just a little bit longer. Okay, check it for trace. it's all incorporated all right we are ready for the molds all I got to do is pour it in here So the aloe soap, I did just keep in its purest form. Um, it's just real subtle topping for this one. So I'm just gonna take my skewer and make the swirls on top.
All right, you guys, so that is how you make an amazing homemade goat milk aloe soap. So you just have to plant your aloe, wait a year, harvest it, and then process it, and then you can finally make your lovely, lovely soap. So that is it for today, you guys, and I will see you all again soon.